while the cicadas drone in the summer heat inside the white hallways of the Translational Genomics Research Institute, or TGen, crucial research is being done. This research will better humanity's understanding of common medical problems in order to prevent and treat them in the future. But these researchers don't have well-known names or high-powered degrees, at least not yet anyway. They are TGEN's interns, ranging from high school to college medical students who work full-time in the laboratories during the summer. While others their age might rather spend their break in a swimsuit, these interns have an obvious passion for what they do in their lab coats. Like Haluk, who is researching ways to predict and prevent concussions during football games. His goal? To find a biomarker or a measurable change inside one's body that indicates when an athlete is at risk for getting a concussion, such as after multiple hits. The clinical implications of this study are really, really significant. If we were able to discover objective diagnostic tools such as a biomarker, it could be incorporated, for example, into, uh, into a mouthpiece that could analyze the player's saliva as they're playing and send data in real time to physicians on the sideline and warn physicians when the players are at risk of concussions. And the interns don't just analyze their data in the lab. They also get out to do research in the field. In this case, the football field. And this is what makes TGen so effective and unique. They encourage students to make significant real-world impacts through their interests in the lab. Haluk and his colleagues at TGen are perfect examples of this real-world mindset. Utilizing a football helmet equipped with sensors, seen here as the small red circles, they can gather data about the force and angle of collisions during ASU football games. TGen's philosophy certainly sets them apart but their spirit of collaboration is what really makes for a special experience. It's really humbling and it's really a great experience because, b because of my coworkers and the fact that I have so many older, experienced, brilliant, uh, well-accomplished coworkers that can help me when I have questions, that can challenge me, ask me questions um, to help me move through the research and, and ultimately it creates a great environment for me to learn and progress through my scientific experience. TGen isn't only working to solve medical problems, but social ones as well. Through their female mentors, they are inspiring more women to take leadership positions in the fields of science and engineering. Definitely I see that here at TEN there's a lot of females. My, my mentor, my primary mentor is a female and it's really nice to see that role model. And it really sort of motivates me and tells me that I can also reach that level. And this is actually my first time I have a female mentor out of all the research labs I work, so it's really awesome. Someday I would like to open up my own lab, maybe at a uh, university or a location or nonprofit like TGen. That would be really awesome and just um, help people like they have helped me along the way, have a lot of, I would love to have interns in my future lab. Clearly, all the hard work taking place at TGen has many benefits. But at the core of every project is the simple desire to improve the lives of others through scientific research. Here at TGen, it'd be hard to find someone that didn't love science and who wouldn't do it either way, but they're all doing it for the patients. It's all driven for improving the lives of patients, finding better diagnostics, better treatments, so that we have a brighter future. And so, the interns at TGen remind us that a brighter future can come from anywhere, even the sidelines. Reporting for No 99, I'm Emily Mahoney.